Hello everyone, my name is El Pangaro and this is my vase. I made this from a paper mache which I bought from a craft store, store. A very hardened, very hard paper mache. I think it's maybe paper mache glue. It's got like a sort of like a thin stream of plastic inside, very heavy, but I still wouldn't. Um, recommend putting water into it so basically this vase has gone through a number of different changes uh, first uh, I had to cut off the top because it's a little bit taller for a different project I needed to the shape and this green used to be a lighter shade of green and which I stuffed up and as and I had to figure out how to transfer my stencils which I printed out from the computer first I used chalk which didn't work and then I used pencil and so I penciled all of this design right and then I do the white paint and then I figured out that uh, the green color is melting in with the white paint it's not making it fine so I had to do start all over again this time go for a much darker green um, with a little bit of white and a little bit of blue to make it a nice um, color I was inspired by Celadon uh, vases, especially those from ancient Korea. I thought it would be really nice. So I painted it all up and then I got my stencil and at first I thought I was going to do, because uh, I printed my stencils as A4 and so I decided to cut it into little pieces, these little uh, flower type things. And I cut it into pieces and I tried to transfer but it didn't work. Pencils didn't work, chalk didn't work. So in the end I had to hand draw all of these based on a stencil like a quarter cut from an A4 cut stencil. <clears throat> and that was a pain and a half. And then I did a single coat of white paint as you can see here. White paint and then again another so the secret of these white the why the reason why it stands out so much from the background is that it's a second coat over top of that basic acrylic paint and this took me these designs took me one hour and a half so I put on a podcast and just took my time and it looks great it really stands out I can see it in the camera it looks really good these little bits of red is painted by a lacquer well not a lacquer it's an enamel based paint it's a red pinkish sort of color and these represent these kind of fruits that you find in Australia they're poisonous so there so yeah so all of these designs I'm really proud of it one and a half hours work and then finally I tipped it off with a little bit of silver which is great and of course on the bottom is also silver uh, and then I put my name on it it's a really intriguing pot put some flowers in here no water maybe put in some um, not incense the potpourri inside excuse me for a nice smell of finger and this I really like it this is my faux celadon vase made from nothing from paper mache some aluminium foil which are cut to shape and some basic acrylic paint I just wanted to share that with you thank you so much for watching